All right, so the summer festival is now underway, and I want to do a video about the shop because there's actually been some updates since last year's summer fest. They've updated quite a few themes. Um, so, right, well, this all works the same. Like, you turn in honey to get coins. Like, in the honey, you can collect honey from the quests and stuff. Like, all these. Some of these have coins at the end of the, the spending chains and whatnot. So, you'll get coins. The honey has a chance of getting a coin. Um, in my video earlier, I got a couple of coins from the honey, but uh, if you turn it on, you have a chance of getting a coin. So let's turn in some of the honey here. Try to get a queen. Boom. More runes. So this is a change from last year. So last year, and remember all previous years I played this, this was 100,000 gold. They changed it to five skin stone crates, so that's 50 skin stones. So this is actually a really nice upgrade because five skin stone crates or 50 skin stones is way better than 100,000 gold. So this is a nice change. So this is actually, so that's been, been better than last year. Um, still five runes. Yeah, you get the skin stones, which is nice. That's still three. All right, let's see if we can grab a... Okay, I might not get any more coins, but that's fine. I explain how that works in my my uh, Summerfest video. Um, anyways, but uh, that's, so that's the one change here. On um, the merchant, though, is like, this is completely changed. So Summer Dolls have been increased from 20 to 30. Pet Summoning Eggs have also been increased from 20 to 30. Hero Soul Chest has been increased from 1 to 2, so you get twice as many Hero Soul Chests for your one coin. Um, these have all been bumped up by a thousand. Used to be thirty five hundred each. Now they're forty five hundred. Chaos particles went from seven hundred fifty to a thousand. Um, the red items, there's still five for these ones. Um, so considering all these have been bumped up, but these still cost five. These are look much less attractive in comparison. Um, these are still three. This one's still four. These are still one, and these are still one. And if you noticed, the fourth page is only a third of a page and that's because they removed the pet the pet items all the um top level jewels for pet items um like if you know about like your flawless jewels like these used to all be available for a coin each and uh, they were pretty bad value but the reason they were bad value is that uh initially when they added those to the themes like the only way to get the the flawless jewels was in adventures 12 and 13 and a lot of people weren't to let be able to do a lot of adventure 12 and 13 yet so buying them for coins was actually an attractive option at one point um but then they made it so you could actually buy them like there wasn't you could not buy them from particles when adventures first launched and the high and you had to be like the only high level adventure so it made uh, made uh, doing pets a bit more accessible because uh, it's actually something to consider because you couldn't buy them for uh, particles back then now you can so now that now that uh, jewels are easy to get it doesn't make a lot of sense to spend coins on it so they removed that um and one more thing uh the coins can also be used from your inventory like if you go to cons see i actually think it's coins coins you can go here you can go spend this will bring up the shop anytime including after summer fest ends like you can literally save these coins and use them eight months from now if you want like you can use them all the way in like march or whatever whenever you want like they there's no rush to spend them like you can pull up this shop anytime so if you don't know what you want to buy yet you can always pull this up later you can always pull this up later but until the meantime for the next week the shop will be here uh looking at you but uh generally speaking though i think for most players the cast particles is going to be the best value the reason i say it's going to be the best value is like so the particles are one of the things you always need pets Pets, I mean, I literally just barely maxed out my pets last night. I kind of regret it because now I can't show you uh, one key thing about uh, particles on this game. And that's uh, the value difference. So reveling this one level would take 700 emeralds or 100 particles. So it's a 7 to 1 ratio. So 1,000 particles is worth 7,000 emeralds. So that's a heck of a value. That's a heck of a value. Um, so that's that's so one coin is worth about 7,000 emeralds on particles. Like eggs, this is 7,500 uh so it's actually a bit better value, but eggs in the long term are a bit worse because one, they're super random, um, which you'll get. Sometimes you might get a grand prize, get super lucky, but for most players, uh, particles are probably going to be better. Um, but uh, so you notice the price of eggs is 2500 for 10, so 30 is about 7500 which is not bad. Um, but particles, like I said, takes, takes about 80,000 particles to max one pet, so... Particles are going to be what you want to spend most of your coins on for most players. Um, skin stones are also an option. 
Um, these are again only probably what I'll end up spending most money on in, with this account. Um, but they've gone up by a thousand. 3,500 to uh, 4,500 is not as good of a value increase as the 2,750 to 1,000 particles, but uh, the value of uh, 3,000, so skin stones, like if you dope open uh, outland chest, shoot, why is it like not clearing? Well, it's not closing, but if you open outland chests, like for 4,500, you'll get about 3,000 skin stones. Let's assume you trade all these for skin crates because you can trade your outland coins. Uh, for skin crates, so assuming you trade all those for skin crates, uh, 4,500 uh, emeralds will get you about 3,000 skin stones. So if we know 3,000 skin stones cost about 4,500 emeralds, we know that um, the price of 4,500 skin stones is going to be about 50% 50, 50 higher than that. So 50% of 4,500 is 2,250. So 4,500 plus 2,250 is 6,750 emeralds. So that's a bit worse value than the chaos particles. Chaos particles, a bit better value. Hero Soul Chest, I think these are pretty bad value unless you need to buy one for the hero. The hero. Okay, why is this not closing? That's a bit buggy. It will not close. Look at that. You have to click on it like three times. That's that's uh that's a bit buggy. So anyway. But there is a collect hero soul uh thing here. Right, so you need to collect a thousand, but if you collect a thousand, you will get one coin, so. Um, it is acceptable to trade one coin to buy that if you need to get like 800 or less souls to complete this quest. But for the most part, you want to try to avoid this. Like hopefully you have been saving up your hero soul items, like stuff like demon dolls, which can have hero souls in them. Like I said, these have hero souls in them. Uh, any of your other dolls might have hero souls in them. You save all these items for these kind of events because thousands a lot. But if you saved all these... You can uh, do that. Same thing with all these. I have plenty of these here, obviously. So I could claim these on pretty much just about anyone. Like, boom. Like, if we want to claim some Fafnir souls, boom. And then you'll look at I got all these souls. Like, so that's what you want to do. Hopefully you have soul items. Like, any of these items that have souls in them, you can claim any of these during this event, including stuff from, like, um, some of the season events or whatever. If you have some of the other soul boxes. These ones, like these ones from the Asgard Chosen Chests. So yeah, that's that's how I would recommend doing uh, that that quest line rather than spending your coins here. I think that's going to be bad value. Um, the red items previous years they were not they were they were defensible, but with the increased value from particles and intelligence stones and stuff, I feel like they're worse. The dolls, uh, they're kind of bad. I mean, but now that you get thirty. Yeah, you know, they might be a bit better, so we will open a few of these. Like, you have to click on it like three or four times to close it. I don't know why it's like that. It's a bug. But uh, you, they're kind of like demon dolls, but you can get some pet potions and stuff. You can get some skin stones. Um, the best thing you can pretty much get is honey, which is pretty rare. Like, for most players, this is not going to be a good use of coins, but I'm going to do one of these just to show you what you get. The rewards obviously haven't been that great, have they? There you go. Get some honey. Like, that's your best value because uh, occasionally you might luck out. The honey turns into a coin. You get your coin back. Plus, you get all the extra value you got for that coin. But uh, that's gambling at that point. So um, you can always hope to try to get lucky. But just know that you're not guaranteed you get honey at all. And you're not guaranteed to get something good with your honey. And the rest of these wards, I mean, you get a few cast cores or whatever. But most of them are kind of meh. They're pretty underwhelming rewards overall. I got a pet egg that team. Hope it looks like we just used them all up. Looks like I didn't get any more in the last pull. So I got two two times honey. Okay, so I did get a coin back for that. So that was actually so that's called I got lucky. That is not guaranteed at all. Um, but I did get lucky this time, so that's good. So I got my value back for the dolls. But uh, I recommend, generally don't recommend buying the dolls. I think for most of you, you just want to buy particles here. And if you don't need particles like I don't on this account, you might want to go with skin stones probably. Um, there's a case for pet eggs too, just because uh, that can get you pet souls if you really need the pet souls more. Um, just read, like I said, and there's a bit better value. But just know that most players will max out their souls before your particles. Plus these are random eggs. If they were pet soul chests, I would be more open to it like pet soul chest can let you get the pet 
souls to the pets you actually want rather than random ones. Uh, the best you could do with eggs is try to open them when the pet you want's grand prize. Try to get a grand prize. Um, but yeah, no no pet items to worry about and said because the other va the value of the skin stones and particles and eggs has increased, the buying items with your coins just seems a lot worse. And as I mentioned earlier, there is no rush to spend these. You can spend them from your inventory anytime. And they really need to fix that bug in the freaking inventory. But you can spend these anytime. You can do this today. You can do this six months from now. There is no rush. Like if you don't know what you want to buy today or you think you just want to save it, like I will probably just hold on to these. You know, you never know. You might end up buying using it for items because you're trying to finish like some quest for Winterfest or whatever to like get a cure to red rank or whatever. Um, so just hold on to them if you don't know what to buy yet. So there's no rush because you can spend them anytime from your inventory. Anyway, not too much more to say on it. There are some mini games and stuff that will let you get uh, three free coins if you want to do those. Um, like I said, pretty easy to get a few free coins uh, from the mini games. I did a video on that, which you can find below. Thanks for watching.